Hi guys, it's Wayne McMaster here. Just going to have a quick video for you today. Now, uh, quite often it's a very basic feature, but a lot of people out there running WordPress websites want to know how to create custom navigations for their websites as well as having custom links. So if I go to uh, this site here, which I've created, uh, it's just a small sales site for me. I use it in a lot of my videos. You see, I've actually got, uh, I've got a custom navigation here, but I've actually got more pages than are actually displayed here. And the way that works is, is with menus. So if I go up the top here, down to menus, or if I go back to my dashboard, just in case you're logged in, if I go to appearance and menus here, I can actually create a custom menu. So you can see here, I've already got a menu set up. It's got a, I've got my bits and pieces here, and I've got primary menu ticks, so it shows up as my primary menu. Now this theme also has a footer and a secondary menu, and I can simply tick these for it to show up there. So the way that works is if I want to create a new menu, when I get to this screen, I'm going to click create new menu here, give it a name, I'll call it main menu, and create that menu. And the way that works is you can simply go here, tick a few things, add to that menu. If you have any particular blog posts you want to link to there, I can actually link to them as well, including things like categories, and I can even create custom links, which I'll go to in a minute. But here's the thing. So the good thing about menus is if you have a really long page title, you can actually change the page title in the navigation. So the way I can do that is I can simply go here. If I add this as my secondary menu, and save that. I'll open up a new tab. You see I now have this menu at the top here with these items. But these are all really, really long sort of names to have in a navigation, really just too long. So I'm going to switch back here, just tab on back. And you can see here where it says About Web Design Mirror Bar, I can just change that to About. And where it has elements every Fred's Coast website needs to succeed, I'll put here, say, website success. Now I can then go up and save this menu. Now, the cool thing about this is if I tab across and refresh, you'll now see we have a, sh a shorter navigation labels on our nav. So that allows me the ability to, to really shorten my uh, navigation links if I need to and basically get it looking the way I want to. So it's actually a really handy tool for sort of changing your menu around. Now let's say I want to put contact me at the end. If I tab back to menu, all I need to do is grab contact me, drag it, and it'll go to the end. One of the other features is if you're wanting to create drop downs, let's say I want to add the home page on there. Obviously, this isn't what I recommend for a navigation necessarily because of the fact, yeah, home page and about. It's, um, so, but this is just to show you how you can set things up the way you want. If I actually indent this underneath about, and the same with blog, I'll actually create a drop down. So if I save that menu again and tab cross, refresh, you see about now has an arrow next to it. Contact me is also moved to the end. Now, I haven't actually done much to style the drop downs in this, but you see if I hover over about, we have this drop down for home page and blog. So that's how you can create drop down menus for your WordPress website as well. And you don't have to worry about setting up your page structures or anything like that um, on the actual pages themselves by numbering the pages. This is all just done um, like visually as you can see there. Now, one last thing I want to add to this video very quickly, um, just to sort of give you a bit of a bit more of an idea what you can do. If I hover over web design here, it actually takes me to my main web design site with all my packages and prices. Now the way to set that up, if you don't have a page or a post on, on your website, you can actually create a custom link in your navigation. So that's really cool if you've got an affiliate link or a product you're trying to sell, you can actually even put that on there. Or if you're trying to send someone to just somewhere else, maybe a Facebook page, you can actually have a link in your navigation pointing there. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to tab back again. This time I'm going to go here to custom links. And if I say I want to link to, like I said, Facebook, get facebook.com, maybe it's my Facebook page, I'll put the full address in there, you know, slash Wade L. McMaster, which is my web design Facebook page. I might put find me on Facebook. So I put the URL on there, add the text. I can actually put this up the top. And for the sake of the video, I might even just remove these items. That way you can see how to remove 
items from your menu. So now I've got this find me on Facebook, just one custom link. It's on my secondary menu. I'm going to save that menu. Tab over again and refresh. And you see now I have this find me on Facebook link here, which if I click, takes me to my Facebook page. So that's basically how you can set up a menu system, how you can create custom links on your menu. It's very simple. Um, just, like I said, if you're in your dashboard, you go to appearance and menus. If you're actually viewing your website, you can go to here and to menus or even to the theme customizer, which has a menu section in there. So I hope you found that video useful as a way to customize your navigation on your theme. Like I said, if you're looking for the location to put that, it's just the uh, menu settings where you want to add it down the bottom here. If you want to add all your new pages as you create them, you can actually turn that on as well. But I generally don't like to do that because I like to have full control over the menu that way. So uh, yeah, I hope you found that video useful and I'll see you next time. Hi guys, it's Wade here. Thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving a thumbs up or even subscribing below to get more content like this. Um, otherwise, I just wanted to tell you about a course I have which is totally free. It's a free email course showing you how to get started. It'll show you how to build a website, start your presence on social media, grow your following, your traffic, and then also make more money online. Now that is actually available at willbuildyourblog.com. Also, I have a description, a link in the description below that you can follow if you want to access that. Otherwise, if you did enjoy the video, uh, I also, if you have any questions or any uh, videos you'd like me to cover in the future, please drop a comment below and uh, I'd like to get, love to get the conversation started, uh, have a chat with you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching the video and I hope to see you again soon. Have an awesome day.